I'm Dr. Sumaya and welcome to Sumi's Pirosna. Today I'm going to talk about the most commonly used antibiotics for a child when there is a dental infection. These antibiotics have been used for both prophylactic purposes and therapeutic purposes. So prophylactic means before any procedure as a preventive method to prevent further infection and therapeutic purpose which means to in order to treat a dental infection which is already present. The most commonly used antibiotics are amoxicillin, cephalosporins, metronidazole and certain combinations of these antibiotics. However, the consumption of these antibiotics vary from person to person depending on their allergies, systemic conditions, etc. So let's begin. The first antibiotic which is most commonly and widely used in dentistry is amoxicillin which comes under the penicillin group of drugs. The dosage of amoxicillin which can be used in a child is 125 mg or 250 mg up to 10 years of age and it can prolong up till 12 years of age and above 12 years we can also use higher dosages just such as 500 mg. The maximum amount of amoxicillin which can be consumed by a child in a day is 2 grams. So you can divide these 2 grams into various dosages or give a specific dose which is required for the child's age. The trade name for amoxicillin which is available in India is Mox Kid, which is available as 125 milligram tablets or 250 milligram tablets. Also available as oral suspensions or syrups where it is 125 milligrams per 5 ml of the syrup or 250 milligrams per 5 ml of the syrup. When a child is allergic to any penicillin group of drugs, so then we need to consider cephalosporins which is the next commonly used antibiotic. These cephalosporins have a wide range of dosages from 25 mg per kg to 100 mg per kg of the child's weight. So the dosages available again are 125 mg, 250 mg and 500 mg. The trade names for cephalosporins are cephachlor, rosifene and lorocarbon. These drugs are also available in capsule forms in the similar dosages and also in oral suspensions or syrup forms with the similar dosages. The next widely used antibiotic is metronidazole. So this is used when there is a huge infection present such as a dentoalveolar abscess or that is in local terms a huge swelling is present in particular region of the oral cavity. So metronidazole has various dosages according to age groups. So age 1 to 3 years, 100 mg of metronidazole could be given, 3 to 7 years, 200 mg and between 7 to 10 years and above, 300 to 400 mg of metronidazole could be prescribed. The trade names for metronidazole are metrogel or flagyl which have both 200 to 400 mg of uh, tablets. So the most common combination drug which is used is amoxicillin and clavulanic acid. The trade names are Advent, Amoclav, Augmentin but the pediatric dosages are restricted to Amoclav and Advent where we use 325 mg of this combination drug. So the other dosages are 625 mg and 1000 mg. So you can see that they are available in higher dosages which means need to be used only when there are severe infections. Now having spoken so much about antibiotics and their dosages, it is not right to go and take these drugs over the counter. For any drug to be consumed, you need to have a proper prescription. So kindly get the drugs prescribed by a, your general physician or a general dental surgeon or a pediatric dental surgeon and then has to be consumed and in proper dosages and at a particular duration. Now why is it important that these antibiotics are consumed for the prescribed dosage and for the prescribed duration? For example, if amoxicillin has been prescribed thrice daily for 3 days, it has to be completely followed. 
if not a phenomenon called antibiotic resistance occurs so in future if the child is going to consume the same drug for any infection be it systemic be it a dental infection the drug won't be effective in curing the infection because the body has already acquired resistance to that particular medicine so antibiotic resistance can be easily acquired if the dosage and duration is not followed so kindly follow the exact duration and dosage to prevent antibiotic resistance so kindly comment like share and subscribe for further content see ya